Welcome back everyone to another LibGX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be going over layout widgets. So here we are on the LibGDX page where we have the layout widgets. I will have a link in the description. So a layout widget is basically a container we can put widgets into. We have defined a few right here on the docs. We have the table, container, and a few others. But before we move on, if you want to check about widgets, I will have a video up on screen. We can think of our table as like a container. On when we want to add components, the table will split, adding either to the left or the right after we expand the cell. By adding more rows and columns, the table will automatically resize so that way we can add text buttons and text field. As the rows, we can add text just as shown here and the table can be extended viewport size. Now we can define a new table like this and then setting the fill parent. We can also create two widgets adding towards the left and right while the final results look like this just shown in the diagram of two buttons. Next is the libgdx container object so we can make a container like this now just like the table a container can be used to position align or size a widget within it for example say if I want to align the widget at the center of the container I can do it like this or if I want to align the widget at the top of the container I can do so just like shown so the widget is actually very simple it is a lightweight component of the table now a scroll plane is a plane where you can add widgets into and it will add a scroll knob if set enabled. As we can see here in this example, we create a new scroll plane with the list. So that way we can be able to scroll. At the final result, we can see there is a scroll bar where we can now scroll down and scroll up with all the label numbers within the scroll panel. A split plane is a widget that we can add to our scene in libgdx. We can think of a split plane as a another box where where the box has a divider in between where on each of these sides of the divider will be our widgets where we can drag left or right depending on the direction here we define a simple split plane by passing the first button and the second button and then setting the vertical to false and then the skin object now, as you see here, we can see we have a split plane. It doesn't look the best, but it gets the point. If we drag it towards the left, it starts to split towards the left. And if we drag it towards the right, it starts to split towards the right. A tree is basically kind of like your file explorer where you have a tree of files with nodes attached to it. We can visualize a tree just like this, where we start off with the first node, which will contain a hierarchy of different nodes. By clicking on the first node, we can expand the hierarchy to a second node. And again, if we click on the second node, then the last node is shown. As you can see, a tree is a complex data structure where you can add different nodes towards it. As you can see, the tree is looks something like this where if we click on it it expands and if we click on it a second time it expands again to the last node i will have a link in the description for the github repository so you guys can take a look at the tree node code the more nodes you add to the tree the more larger your tree will get so if i again if i want to minimize this i can do that just like so and then same thing with the second node the vertical group is a group where you can add widgets in a vertical level we can think of a vertical group like this here we have the simple box method and then if we want to add widgets to it it would look something like this where the first component or widget is added to the bottom of the vertical group as you can see we define a new vertical group and then we put the vertical group inside the container and then for the buttons that we're going to add we add them to the vertical group and then we space them by 100. the results can look something like this where the start button is right on top of the play button all in the vertical manner next a horizontal group looks just like the vertical group but just only difference is horizontal as you can see we define a new group just like this and then we add it to the same container just as defined before now the last layout widget of libgdx is called a stack we can think of a stack like this again falling back towards the box analogy we can add stuff towards the stack starting at the bottom. Then eventually adding more widgets to our stack, the stack will grow where we can add more stuff in a vertical way. Now, as you see, there is two widgets within our stack. This way you can add variety when it comes to your menus of making a stacked up button menu, or if you want to make your own design, you can do so. Now, if you want to learn more about scene 2D UI tables, I will have a video up on screen 
screen and that is the conclusion of scene 2d ui layouts i hope you guys learned more i will have a link in the description towards my github repository if you want to check out the code um again i also will have tutorial links for more libgdx